right? Now we're gonna do what I set up yesterday. So what I spent my day doing yesterday is I was going all the way up here and you can actually see the line I was following. I was finding all these safe houses and basically building my influence around the map. But you'll also notice the threat level for the region is still one, right? In most areas, right? And we did this because we're going to someplace specific. We're gonna to go to this safe house here and Pascal home because our eventual target is to get up here. All right, if memory serves me correctly, there's a safe house right here, and once you cross over here and you cross this small bridge, one of these structures is a lighthouse. I believe it's this one right here. We're gonna find out when we get closer. At the top of that lighthouse is a purple PVG-90, and that's what we're gonna get today. Because the PVG-90, um, A, is my favorite weapon, all right? I like using it. Oh god, the load times are a lot faster on PC as well. Whew! Um, and also, if you look at my current loadout, the best weapon I've got is either going to be this green Kapist or the blue Aldsgare hunting rifle. And the hunting rifle is only good situationally. Like, if you're in the middle of a fight, it's not going to help you if you're being swarmed. Um, the other thing I'm going to try to do today, and this is going to require it to be very cheeky, um, is... Where did they leave that thing? There is a gold AI-76 somewhere up here, up north. I'm trying to remember its exact location. I think it's over here. I'm going to have to look it up and double check. But it's at the back of a small village, and it's floating in a boat. It's either that or it's here. I think it's over on the left. I think it's over... I will confirm that before we actually go looking for it. But the way I got it last time was I basically snuck as far as I could in, got there, and then ran to the back, uh, being, like, constantly under fire by enemies. Because as long as you grab that thing before you go down, it's yours. So, let's start. Let's get out there and actually play in earnest. I haven't been counting these tips, by the way. I don't know if it's a top ten tip or just a bunch of tips or what, but, um... Yeah, I figured, again, game is hard. Another game is hard. And I know you guys have been saying, yeah, I don't know why you guys love this game so much. Well, it, it's going to take a while, right? There is a bit of a curve, right? Um, and really, what I'm looking to do today is I'm looking to get to the, the northmost parts of the map. And we're going to scrounge around for weapons. Because the further north you go, the stronger the enemies are but also the stronger the weapons are, the stronger the drops are, right? It equals, equates out, you know, if you've got strong weapons, uh, you get strong enemies. If you get weak weapons, you get weak enemies. You don't always get the best weapons from enemies in the beginning because basically anything over a green is gonna be an upgrade for us. Um, the other general plan I've got here is we're gonna stick to the shoreline because very little actually spawns on the shore, right? Our, our goal here is not to get into fights, it's to avoid fights. Um, I actually had a really great time playing yesterday. Uh, I was in a city, and I was on the shoreline, and there was very little between me and a bunch of dogs. Oh, we've got a Russian firebird up there somewhere. And uh, I actually went fully prone and snuck right past them solid snake style. It was awesome. Okay, we've got some resistance stuff here. And they put a sign on that, that means there's something in here for us. Let's see what we got. Once again, we're going to take all the ammo. We don't care what type it is because we'll break it down into something that we can use. Oh, yeah. Lots of ammo here. All right. Nothing in the pack. I was kind of hoping we'd get a weapon. But a ton of ammunition doesn't hurt. Yeah, sneaking through this game is a valid way to play. You can totally, like, creep around and avoid combat until you're ready, right? And you can gain levels for finding locations, uh, picking up collectibles, picking up, you know, small little things. Um, it doesn't all have to be active combat, especially in the beginning, because you're going to be squishy. Um, now, I say that because there is a health upgrade that you can take, and I advise everybody to take it regardless of class, because you really just need to stay alive. And it's a big map, so it's going to take a while to get from point A to point B. Great. All right, we don't... Oh, okay. We have something close enough. We've got hunters. 
hunters. Great. Okay. So there's two hunters on the rise. We need to get past them. Now, if you're already crouching and you want to go prone, just hold the down, down, yeah. Hold the button to duck, right? We're gonna go completely prone now. We do not want to fight this guy. He's military grade, at least. We just need him to go away. Just need him to go away. He's basically looking over the whole area. How close do we to our... We're not very close to the safe house I want to get to. We got a couple of options here. I have a field radio on me. I'm going to drop the field radio. Okay. Because if anything happens, we can use the field radio to get back here. I'm going to assign it here. Because sometimes you just can't push it down because it doesn't allow you to put a field radio there. This way, if anything goes wrong with this hunter, and he sees me while I'm prone, and I get my butt torn apart because I do not want to fight him yet, right? Again, we're trying to avoid combat right now. I'm going to just crawl by and hope he does not notice. I don't have any points in stealth, and I don't think I have anything in visibility deduction. This is exactly what I did with the dogs yesterday. Uh, this gun is not going to help me in case this guy sees me, so I'm going to switch to the pist in case I get spotted. I don't want to be spotted. I don't want to be seen. His back is to me. We're going to solid snake right by him. This is tense. This is tense. This is not what you guys are normally seeing with, with me. You, you guys are usually seeing, like, action and running. But again, the guys are off today. They each have their own thing to do for the next two weeks. It's just me. And that's fine. Because high resolution. Okay, it's real tense. Oh man, just crawl around this rock. This is a valid way. This is valid, guys. You can totally sneak your way up north. You don't have to fight every single enemy you run across. I advise you to get the good guns first and then engage in combat. That is the strategy. Alright, if you're having a hard time in Generation Zero, sneak. I hope this comes out better than editing because I'm like I'm rambling because I'm playing by myself. Yeah, it's a much different experience doing YouTube on your own than you are with, you know, other people. Because with other people, it's easier to, like, just concentrate on the game and just have fun and have, like, the rambling combat banter that we usually have. But if you're by yourself, you have to figure out, okay, what am I saying? What am I doing? Right now, I'm basically just sneaking. Alright. Am I far enough past this guy? Not yet. We're not going to get out of the prone position yet and go to kneeling. I'm going to get past that tree. There's an evergreen over there covered in snow. I think once we get past that, we'll be far enough away that if we go just to crawling, he's not going to notice us. And that'll get us there faster. Because we don't want to do this all day. You do eventually need to stop crawling on the ground. You know, I don't want people watching like two hours of me crawling under this tree. Alright, yeah, because the trees provide a little bit of visual cover. Okay. Actually, yeah, we can... Oh, no, 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 no. They can see us if we stand. They can see if we stand. Really want that stealth indicator, because that helps you a lot. Alright. And it's totally cool to leave the game behind and just be like, okay, I don't care about the plot for a minute, I just want to go out and explore the world. It's cool to do that. As a matter of fact, I encourage you to do that. Okay, safe house unlocked. There's always a collectible in every safe house. Be sure to grab it. Just a completionist type of thing. Oh, it looks like there's two collectibles here. I know where the other one is, but I'm not going to worry about it too much because that's not why we're here today. Let's see if we can get eyes on the part. Okay, there's a tank over there. Yeah, this is going to get intense, guys. Is he on the bridge? Because that's the problem I had last time, is if the tank is on the bridge... See it? That's the land bridge, right there. Right there, right? If we can't go via the land bridge, we can always circle around the combat and try and come in on the second bridge. 
what I'm going to make for the first one. Hopefully the uh, the Soviet machines will bring the tank away. If we're really lucky, they'll kill each other completely, and we can finish off what is left with the PVG-90, and then get all the sweet loot. Because yesterday I had myself a problem. Yesterday, I decided I was going to go out, and I was going to explore, and I just have the guns that you see now, right? I've got the green pist, I've got this blue hunting rifle, and I was like, alright, I can do this, I can do this, no big deal. So I get out there, and uh, I get attacked by like 900s, and I found this little shack, right? So I'm like, okay, um, let me see what I can do. Okay. Anywhere there's reeds, you should be able to walk, but I know that it does get deeper. Down. What are we looking at? So those are Phoenix machines. We're fighting something. Right, something goes in here. This is not ideal. But I went through every single med pack that I had. And when it was done. I used up all my adrenaline, I had nothing left, and I basically just got to the point where I, I couldn't do anything, and like, I lost all the loot I would have had. I just stay in the reeds, circle around this patch of water. Hopefully they're more interested in each other than by me. So I'm going to try right by this tank. That's where we need to be. These tents, guys. Do not want to be seen. Do not want this thing to see me. Blow me away. Run the bridge. Get down. Now, I know other people want to be like running for it. But I think that's the worst possible idea, because as soon as you run for it, they're going to see you. You really want to go with stealth and patience here. Now, if they start shooting at you, then you run. Right? And I do kind of want to stay away from the open areas as much as possible. We're going to cross here. We're going to cross right now. So hopefully they're all fighting the tank, and the tank is them, and we are not the threat. We're not the threat. Okay, get to the knees. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna sneak right by this whole fight. We're gonna sneak by the whole fight. And the other thing is, this is a safe house. So we can get a safe house. We can get a PVG-90 if it's still there, if they can take it out of the game, because this is where it naturally spawned last time I played. Alright. And it's not this thing should be a lighthouse in the back. Now, they did change a lot in this game, all right? I will note that. Yeah, that. That lighthouse. That's the one. That's where we're going. Okay. Now, we can fight. Now, we have a chance. We can stand up next to the big things. This is what we've been waiting for. This. This is when we go from hiding to fighting. I don't think I have any other VMG ammo in here. There's a tick out here somewhere. Fell off the lighthouse. I don't know if they take fall damage. I kind of doubt it. Okay, what do we got? get a little bit of cover here, so we're going to go for the tree. With re-engage. And we're going to go... I wonder if his battery's been hit. His fuel tank's been hit. Let's see. I can't see the fuel tank is facing the wrong way. There's a no, no, there's like three guys in the background. It's going to be bad. We're doing it. Show me the guns.
small target. As small as possible. This gun is going to shit. And we can spot it. So we're going to staying stealthy. Who the frig? Which one of them is doing that to me? Luckily, when you die, it looks like they don't remember that you're there. They f consider you killed, quote-unquote, and then just move on to the next target so I can stealth my way over to where I shot the tank. Also, if I die, I can just respawn at the safe house, so it's not like the biggest end of the you know, biggest deal in the world. I'm gonna have to get up soon. I'm just crawling in the general direction of said tank. Yeah, because it was over here-ish. Killed it, I should get it. And hopefully it still counts because I got rezzed. With the adrenaline shot. I only had one adrenaline shot, so I'm gonna be disappointed if I can't get this loot. Yeah, the very next thing I'm gonna go for is the health upgrades because like I seriously, seriously need a health upgrade. Alright, so there's other stuff out there we can root into. Good, good. We're going to use the enemies to fight each other, and then we're going to take their loot. We don't necessarily have to do the killing, and I don't know what was shooting me. But it was probably some kind of hunter. Okay. We're piercing that and the aluminum. I'm not taking the sledgehammer weight capacity, and we're going to use it on things that we really need, and I'm hoping that one of these guys will drop a gun, because that's the other thing I want to do today, and I'm kind of raiding this place, see if I can get some good stuff. And I did promise to take you guys to one of the vaults, so I'm going to do that after I raid whatever machines are over here, because all this stuff is free loot. I got robbed yesterday, but today I'm doing the robbing. Today I'm, ta I'm taking all the stuff. I'm stealing Sneaking in and grabbing all the good stuff. I have to do all the work on my own. I'm just gonna let these guys do it for me. What do you got? Uh, I'll take the steel and the hollow point and the salt. The electrolyte. I'm not really using the shotgun. And I could take the shotgun ammo and like break it down, but you need 20 ammo and it's gonna be one piece. So it's not worth the wait. Break it down and make something else. So it's good for that. Alright, whatever killed me before found me. Let's figure out what it is. And teach you a lesson. There you are. You were what killed me before. Venge. This guy's stuff, and there's a harvester over there too. I want to get. Hopefully, they will forget me. It's 
Because that's kind of what I want. I want them to forget I'm here. I already got their stuff. Yeah, the harvesters could just over the hill. I can't remember if I get this guy. Oh my god, because he's not showing up. Okay, got those both. The harvesters are over here. This had already despawned, in which case I had a lot. No, 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 no. Phoenix Harvester right here. Well, they see me now. Uh, take it. Apparently more armor piercing ammo than anything else. Uh, who do I want to shoot with this? The tank is kinda in the I think there's a second tank on him. So let's take him out. Okay, he's gone. They fought each other. Let's take out the small stuff. this thing as cover. Because that's valid. You can use a machine as cover. Well, how do you not see me after that? Ooh! Alright, we can just revive right here and get right back into it, but I'm not going to do that because I have other plans. Other plans. We'll go back to them in a minute. Hey guys, bored to death. Uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, please like and subscribe because it does help the channel grow. Uh, if you want me to pester you, go ahead and hit that notification button on the lower left-hand side, and every time a new video comes out, your phone's going to blow up. Uh, I know I get quite a few notifications from other channels that I follow, so if you really want to just be there when the videos drop, go ahead and hit it. I uh, hope you're enjoying the videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.